Bianca. Welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, please subscribe. So in today's video, Valentine's Day is around the corner and I'm going to be doing the Be My Valentine tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, comment down below, and subscribe. It really mean a lot to me. Give this video so many likes, turn on your notifications. I don't want to make this intro too long and let's get started. So question number one is Valentine's Day. Overhyped or a fun day to spread the love? To be honest, I absolutely love Valentine's Day. It's one of my favorite holidays and I do like to spread to, I do love to spread the love. Also, I'm happy being single and on Valentine's Day, you can, you can have fun with your significant other or you know, if you're single, you can still have fun and have, and you can hang out with your friends, your girlfriends, your boyfriends and have a Valentine's Day. I absolutely love the colors red, pink, and white, and I love the Valentine's Day aesthetic, and I think it's a cute holiday, and plus I like buying myself all the candy, and I love treating myself. The second question is, what was your favorite Valentine's Day memory? Hmm. Well, my favorite Valentine's Day memory is that, I don't know if I remember one, but I think I used to have a lot of fun Valentine's Day parties during elementary school where we have the fun dip, the cupcakes, the heart decorations, everything, and we handed out Valentine's. It was it was an amazing memory for me. And I also, one time in middle school, I didn't get that much Valentine's, but a teacher gave me a yellow flower. And I was like, what? But now that I looked back, I thought it was sweet and there was a teacher who actually cared about me. And I thought that was a little bit more important than students. I don't know how to describe it, but I really, I'm really grateful that I got that yellow flower from her. And I absolutely love my childhood Valentine's Day memories. The third question is conversation hearts or chocolate covered strawberries. If you guys, if you guys know or don't know this about me, I am a both girl. I choose both. I choose both of conversation hearts and chocolate covered strawberries. I actually bought myself four bags of the Sweetheart Candy Hearts this month and they're so good. People think they're chalky, but I think they're delicious despite they're really hard to crunch. They're not that hard, but some of the hearts can be hard to crunch and I absolutely love chocolate covered strawberries because I love strawberries and chocolate. It makes it more delicious on the strawberries and I haven't had those in a long time. I recently made a Valentine's Day bun cake and I used the Sweethearts Candy Hearts and I'm very happy how the way it turned out. I'll have the link in the description below or put it up in the iCard. So basically, I both love candy hearts and chocolate covered strawberries. The fourth question is, choose a celebrity to be your Valentine. I think it's pretty obvious. I would choose Ross Lynch to be my Valentine. Even though he's already in a relationship with Jack Sinclair, I love him with all of my heart and I actually met him for the first time in four years. I met him back in 2017 and I got the meet and greet back in December at the Fonda Theater and, and it was just, I gave him a card, I gave him a drawing of him and he loved it and we were talking and he was just so sweet. Also, he's very, very handsome. <sighs> Question number five, who are you celebrating Valentine's Day with this year? Um, so this weekend, I, I don't know who I'm, what I'm gonna do for Valentine's Day. Actually, I'm going to my job skills program and, I'm, and I got a job and it is a paid internship and I'm going to start on that day. And then this weekend, I'm probably going to go to dinner with my grandma. I love spending time with her. I'm really close with her and I love and respect my grandma. And hopefully if we go to Chili's, I can see Tim, which is the cute waiter I have a crush on. But also, I would like to spend Valentine's Day with my family, maybe my parents or my sister, I don't know. We'll see. Number six, what is your Valentine's Day dinner plan? My Valentine's Day dinner plan would be pizza and garlic bread, we can have some water, or if I can, I would like to drink strawberry lemonade and it would we can have candles all over and we can me and my me and my what if boyfriend can talk like ah, I had a great day today or like oh you look nice today 
And then it would be nice if I had sushi and we were in a sushi bar. We were sitting next to each other. That would be nice too. But I don't know what we're going to do for dinner on Valentine's Day. Number seven, red or pink? Both, they're both of my favorite colors, but if I had to choose one, I would choose red because red is my favorite color and red is the color of desire and passion and love. Red is my color, I absolutely love wearing it and I get and I get a lot of compliments from people saying, Bianca, red is your color, it looks good on you because it works well with my dark hair. Number eight, flowers or candy? I choose both because I both love flowers and I both love candy. The last time I saw Allie, when I hung out with her, she gave me a card and some Reese's peanut butter hearts. But I would also like to receive red roses. I actually received them last year on my birthday, and I was and they turned and they looked so beautiful. I always wanted to receive flowers on Valentine's Day, and I would be like, oh, "Is this for me?" I love flowers and candy, and it would be nice if I can get if I can receive more of the Sweethearts candy hearts. Ooh. Number nine, sushi or pizza? I actually like the number nine. It's one of my favorite numbers because I was born with a nine and 1998, 2019 was the best year of my life and I absolutely love the number 19. And then Jenny from My Life is a Teenage Robot, her name is also XJ9, so I was, I'm a nine like her. I choose both because I love sushi and pizza, but if I had to choose one, I would choose pizza. Pizza is my most favorite food. I can eat it all the time. I can, I can eat it for lunch and dinner. And I think I'm going to, to an outing with my skills coach and we might get Blaze Pizza. I just love pizza so much. Question number 10, beer or wine? Neither, because I don't, I don't drink and I never want to drink because I want to stay healthy for the rest of my life. The only drink I will drink is water because it's healthy for you. So yeah, I don't want to become an alcoholic. No alcohol for me, even though I'm 23 years old. 11, describe your perfect Valentine date night. So I have a lot of ideas. I would have a dinner, we can watch a romantic movie, and then after dinner we can go for a walk, and then we can have a nice, long, meaningful conversation while sitting down at the park, and maybe if the time is right, I can have a kiss, and then he would drive me back home and kiss me again, and I just, I'm happy being single, but it would be nice if I was in a relationship. But I'm focusing on myself, but I still daydream about myself having a boyfriend. I forgot to mention this, but deep down, I am a hopeless romantic. <laughs> Number 12, tag a friend. I would like Kari Beth, or I would like Miss Kari Beth to do this tag, and I would like any of my subscribers or anyone who is watching this video to do this tag, even though this tag is like too old, but I like bringing tags back because it makes me unique. The end. Well, that is it for this Be My Valentine tag. Don't forget to like, comment down below, and subscribe. It really means a lot to me. Turn on your notifications and let me know in the comments below what are your Valentine's Day plans and would you do this tag? And by the way, see ya!